element of the contract form now form of the contract form is the instrument or the means by which a contract is made concluded it consists of ijab offer and kabool form in कॉन्ट्रैक्ट की शक्ल क्या होती है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट की शक्ल कैसे बनती है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का ढांचा कैसे बनता है तो कहते हैं कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का ढांचा बनता है ईजाब और कबूल से ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज फॉर्म थ्रू ऑफर एंड एक्सेप्टेंस सो दिस इज द फॉर्म ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड वट आर द मीनिंग ऑफ ईजाब एंड कबूल वेन वी विल से दैट दैट दिस इज ईजाब एंड द अदर गाइज अदर पार्टी रेस्पॉन्स इज कबूल so ijab has been defined as a declaration that is made first with a view to creating an obligation while the subsequent declaration is termed kabool so it means any party who will make who will make its a statement of contract at first then his statement will be considered his or her statement will be considered as offer the response positive response of the second party will be considered kabool for example there is a seller and buyer and seller says seller starts i sold you my commodity for 10 rupee his this statement because he started his this statement will be considered offer the other buyer said that okay i bought it for this 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 price that's response is second so the second response is known as kabool okay here seller made seller's statement was ijab and its vice versa can be done for example the buyer starts and he says i bought your commodity for 10 rupee the seller says okay i sold it to you no buyer started the statement of buying so no his statement will be considered ijab and seller's response will be considered as kabool it's mean who the the party who starts his statement will be considered ijab to iska matlab ye hua ki wo party jo apni statement shuru karti hai वो स्टेटमेंट जिसकी शुरू होगी वही इजाब कहलाएगी जो बाद में जवाब देगा उसका कबूल कहलाएगा ये मैटर नहीं करता कि वो खरीदार पहले बोलेगा या सेलर पहले बोलेगा नो no. जो भी दोनों में पहले बोलेगा उसकी स्टेटमेंट ऑफर कहलाएगी और अगर वो दो दूसरी पार्टी उसको कबूल करेगी तो उसका वो कबूल कहलाएगा सो दिस इज दिनेशन ऑफ ऑफर एंड एक्सेप्टेंस नो द क्वेश्चन इज is ijab subject to both positive sense and negative sense usually the people says that islamic law is silent about it that islamic law does not define about it whether it is or not the council of islamic ideology it means uh, islami nazariyati council pakistan is of the view that only commission of an act form ijab abstinence from an act cannot be regarded as ijab wo kehte hain agar aap kisi se kehte hain ki ye kaam kar do do it positive signs do it karo to this is known as ijab negative sense cannot be for example a party says to other party not to do that i will pay you if you not to do that i will pay you this amount other said that okay god i accept it so they say that this is the negative sense so he is actually asking him to stop not to do that thing aap kisi ko keh rahe hain ki agar tum paper mein agar tum interview mein appear na ho to main tumhe itne paise dunga to kehte hain ki agle aadmi ne kaha ki maine kabool kar liya to kehte hain kya ye ijab hoga क्या आप उसको कह रहे हैं कि तुम इंटरव्यू पे अपीयर ना हो इट इज एबस्टिनेंस इट इज यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट नॉट टू डू सो इट इज अ नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट तो कहते हैं कि क्या नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट जो है वो ईजाब हो सकता है तो कौन सा इस्लामिक आइडियोलॉजी से नो इट कैन नॉट बिकम ईजाब ओनली पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट द फेडरल शरीय कोर्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान ऑन द अदर हैंड हेल्ड 
a different viewpoint it is the often opinion that a contract may be to do anything or to abstain from doing it to kehte hain ki jo aap kisi ko mana karte hain kisi kaam ke rokne se to wo bhi offer ho sakta hai aur dusri party kehti hai theek hai main nahi karunga to uska ye statement acceptance hoga so this is the offer and acceptance